Has anyone ever told you that the light bulbs in your house are powered by energy from the wind or coal? Or maybe that food gives you the energy to exercise? Are these all the same kinds of energy? What do we mean when we say energy? Something has energy when it's either doing stuff or it has the potential to do stuff. Okay, that's pretty vague, so let's look at a few examples. All right, there we go. This is me getting strapped into the world's largest swing. It's located in New Zealand, the country where I grew up. I'm hanging upside down at this platform above a big valley. The ropes are connected to a cable in the middle, like this. Now you can guess what happens when they let me go, right? It takes a lot of energy to move something that fast, but where is that energy coming from? Well here, at the top, I have what is called gravitational potential energy. I'm located above the earth, which has a strong gravitational pull on me. I have the potential to move. Now as I'm let go, I start moving and that gravitational potential energy changes into what's called kinetic energy. Anything that's moving has kinetic energy. The faster I go, the more kinetic energy I have. Now as I swing past the bottom and I start going back up, I slow down. And that kinetic energy is changed back into gravitational potential energy. Now I know what you're thinking. If energy can just change back and forth like that, wouldn't I just keep swinging forever? Well you heard how noisy it was right? I'm losing some of that energy as sound energy, which is also just the movement of air, so it's another kind of kinetic energy. I'm also making a little bit of heat by friction with the air, and heat is another form of energy. It's by changing one form of energy into another like this that we can make useful things happen. Let's go back to the examples from the start. We power our homes with electricity, and let's say that it comes from the wind. When the wind spins a turbine, like this one, it has kinetic energy. A generator inside the turbine changes that kinetic energy into electrical potential energy, and that is transferred down power lines to our homes. But what if that energy came from coal? Well, when you burn coal, there's a chemical reaction between oxygen in the air and the coal that creates carbon dioxide and other chemicals. The creation of these chemicals releases energy as heat, which we use to boil some water which spins a turbine, like the wind turbine. Because all this energy is coming from a chemical reaction, we say that the coal has chemical potential energy. A really similar thing happens when you eat food. When your body breaks down that food, chemical reactions occur that keep your body warm and allow your muscles to move. You change the chemical potential energy in the food into heat energy and kinetic energy. One important thing to know is that you cannot create energy out of thin air. You also cannot destroy energy. You can only change it from one form into another. All of the energy in the entire universe has been there since the beginning of time. It's just constantly getting changed around. So, let's review. Energy is either doing stuff or having the potential to do stuff. We've discussed gravitational potential energy, like in the swing, electrical potential energy, like in power lines, and chemical potential energy, like in coal or the food that we eat. There are other kinds of potential energy, like elastic and nuclear, but they're quite similar to these ones. We've discussed kinetic energy, which is where things are moving. We've also mentioned heat energy. Now, as it turns out, temperature is just the movement of atoms. As something gets hotter, the atoms inside it start to wiggle around more and more, move faster and faster. So heat energy, like sound energy, can be thought of as another kind of kinetic energy. So hang on, we can actually simplify a bit here. Energy is what something has when it is moving or when it has the potential to move. That is energy. Uh, yeah! <laughs>